Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Brad and today on Trail Recon, man, I'm really excited to share with you our Calico California weekend. I am up here with the San Diego Jeep Club. There are 34 Jeeps behind me. We've been on the trail all morning and this is just gonna be an awesome weekend. We're gonna tackle some easy trails, explore some mines, just have a good old time today. And then tonight we're gonna camp out and I'm gonna put that rooftop tent to the work. I'm really excited to test that out and give you guys some feedback on how well it is and how good it sleeps. And then tomorrow, we are gonna tackle some harder trails with a smaller group, and I'm really looking forward to that. Should be some great action on the trail, and I'm really interested to see how much that extra weight is gonna handle when I'm out on the trail doing some obstacles, so you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around for that. Right now, we're just gonna go explore some mines, have some lunch, have a good old time. Here's how the day started, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. The Calico Mountains are located near Barstow, California, and are about 180 miles north of San Diego. I met up with my good friends of the San Diego Jeep Club and we kicked off the first day by airing down our tires, greeting all the first timers, and just had a quick driver's meeting before we got ready for the day's events. Good morning everybody! Welcome. Good morning! Hey, welcome to Calico Ghost Town. Hi everyone, um, we're obviously starting here, we're going there, we're going that, that, that. <laughs> go, let's go! If it was up to him, that's how it would be. Okay, just follow me! All my life. Uh, the trail is actually pretty long, it's about 26 miles. Uh, we are going to end up on Fort Irwin Road, which comes back this way on the road after the trail, back to Calico. Managing a large convoy of Jeeps like this really does take some logistics. A few things to keep in mind while you're in a large convoy is to keep your lights on and ensure you've got good comms. And most importantly, keep the Jeep behind you in your sights. That way, if anyone falls back, the front knows to slow down. It's all about working as one symbiotic unit to keep the convoy together on the trail. There is a whole network of desert trails up here, ranging from easy fire roads to some very difficult, challenging tight obstacles. Some of the most common trails are mapped, but most are not. So be sure to have a plan and some solid navigation with you if you decide to explore up here. One of the very cool stops along the way was Kramer's Arch, which is a natural arch that you can actually drive your vehicle through. Well, unless you have a rooftop tent, then it's not advised. I decided to sit this one out, but it was a lot of fun watching everyone else make their way through it. Calico had one of the largest silver rushes in California back in the 1880s, and at its peak, there were over 500 silver mines out here. There are still hundreds of open mines scattered throughout all of Calico Mountains that you can access today. Just be sure to use caution because they are old and there are some with some very deep shafts.
on the other track. Alrighty. Yeah, I just checked on my map. It looks like if you turn left up here, that'll take us right back down. Yeah, so I think that's, yeah, it's heading me to the, the, the old track. You want to scout it first, Keel? Well, I mean, it, it's fine. I think we can all go because we'll all turn around together. Somebody was white knuckling a little bit. <laughs> I saw him on the handles. At least she wasn't screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Nice flex right there, buddy. This little furry guy decided to make his way across the trail and brought the entire Jeep convoy to a halt. The California tarantula is commonly seen at night, and it's usually the males that are out looking for a mate in September and October. I've seen several of these guys previously on the trail on a night run, but this was the first time that I'd seen one in the day out on the trail. Remember to tread lightly, guys. And you guys have a beautiful Jeep. What do you think about the trail so far today? Well, I love the obstacles and my mom's first time driving. Oh, right on, mom. How's it going? It was awesome. <laughs> I definitely will do it again. Yeah, it's been a great day so far. A lot of Jeep friends, great obstacle, great trail, great weather. Awesome. All right, ladies, look, every time I run by your Jeep, there's a whole lot of screaming and laughing going on. How's the day going? I'm screaming. I'm laughing. <laughs> Having a good time today? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys have the Lone Stock Cherokee out here and you're keeping up with Ooh. all these other rigs. What <laughs> your Cherokee you got? It's just an 09 Stock Cherokee, nothing special. Well, it's getting it done. You guys having a good time today? Oh, it's yep. fantastic. Chappie, everybody is congregating around your Jeep today because you just installed this new awning, man. What'd you get? So this is a Sunseeker awning by Rhino Racks. It's uh, 2.5 meters long. I got it from a good friend and uh, you know, it works. Easy to set up, takes about a minute to set up. It's nice out here in this desert for sure, huh? Right.
just a little bit before two o'clock and we've been on the trail probably about, I don't know, what does it say, about four and a half hours and it's been awesome. I, this is a part of Calico that I've never been to before and this is pretty much all easy trail today. There have been a couple obstacles but nothing that a stock vehicle couldn't handle, stock 4x4 I should say. Uh, you know that stock Cherokee has been tackling everything so it just goes to show you, you don't need a fully built rig to go out and explore and have a good time because we are, we are pretty far from any civilization right now and just having a great time out here checking things out. Uh, we got 34 Jeeps, so keeping everybody moving together is a little bit of a challenge. We've had a couple gaps where we've had to slow down. Uh, and we did take one wrong turn, and that just happens because there are so many branches of the trails out here. Uh, you really want to make sure you have a good map or good GPS or pre-run pre everything so you kind of know where you want to go. But we're back on track. Looks like we're going to get back on time. Looking forward to uh, getting the campsite set up and uh, having a good dinner and campfire and checking out that tent tonight. great day out on the trail. We will be taking a smaller group and tackling some very difficult obstacles tomorrow, but there really is something therapeutic about a just nice easy drive through the desert like we did today. Now, time to air up and head back to camp. Okay, this is only my second time setting the tent up, but let's see how long it takes. Ready? Go. Okay, technically if I needed to, if I was really in a hurry, I could get up there and go to sleep right now as it is, four minutes and eight seconds. Now I'm gonna get all the other flies up and see how it goes. Should only take me a couple more minutes, but I'll keep the timer going. Seven minutes and 20 seconds. That's pretty awesome. That went up very quick. I didn't have to fumble around with a bunch of poles. I'm not sleeping on the ground. I'm really excited to spend the night up here. Uh, this is going to be so much more comfortable. Now, we are in a RV campground here in the Calico Ghost Town, so this is just kind of a good place to test run. This is where everybody else is staying, you know, a bunch of guys got their RVs and whatnot. Uh, eventually, we're going to get out in some remote areas, set it up in the desert. It's going to be really nice. But tonight, just a test run. I'm excited to get up there and go to sleep tonight, but let's go get some chow. Having a good meal when you are out camping really makes the whole experience so much more enjoyable. I used to throw a couple freeze-dried meals in my box and call it good, but now I really enjoy seeing what I can cook up that's simple and tastes good. This sausage and potatoes did the trick. After dinner, we spent the evening around the campfire and just talking about the day's adventure was just a really nice evening. We were all really excited for what tomorrow would bring. And let me just say this, day two is full of many, many challenges. If you're visiting the channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss our next adventure. Thanks for watching.